What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Jay Lee back with another video Today we back at it with some more music um, Hope everybody having a good Friday Hope everybody a good start of the weekend It's supposed to be nice this weekend, I think, depending on where you are But hope you're in the Midwest It's supposed to be nippy, but it ain't really that nippy It ain't really been snowing that much I shouldn't have said that, I really shouldn't have But, um, but anyway We back at it with some more music Now I've been jumping into this Tom McDonald, uh how should I say? Uh, Journey. I did the same thing with NF, and I actually enjoy a lot of NF's music. And I'm starting to enjoy a lot of uh, Tom's music, too. Very creative. He really can spit. Like, for sure, for sure. A lot of his music is definitely, at least the music I've heard so far, is pretty good. I think I'm going to make a playlist for his music. Yeah, I'm make a playlist. Sorry, I really don't be cutting no no part of the video. I really don't. I just, I just be naturally me. But anyway, we back on this music with Tom. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people telling me comments about him. Uh, let me figure. I gotta figure something out. What does this mean? I gotta figure something out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, Hangover Gang. That's what that means. Okay. I'm sorry, I had to figure that out. Um, but cause I was, I was, I was like, what is hashtag H O G Hangover Gang? Makes sense. Okay, gotcha. Top copy. I hope that's what that means. If I'm wrong, that'd be tough. I think that. I think that's right though. All right, but anyway, someone suggested. I saw a bunch of people suggest that I do. I don't care. Next, um, this was put out. Oh, this is from 2020. About almost four years ago. Yeah, almost four years ago. Coming up. March, yep. I'm on about a, less than a month. Four years ago, I put this out. And I actually got a couple songs that I got to check out from six years ago. This is going to be a long journey. But I'm going to keep checking the music out because it's interesting. So, like I said, I'm probably going to do a, a playlist for him. Um, and so, on my channel, it would be every, uh, it'd be all his videos I've done so far. I'm probably going to create that today. So, go check that out if you're really big into Tom McDonald or you rock with me. Um, but yeah, we can keep doing these videos, you know what I'm saying? Keep bringing y'all new music, old music. I really don't care. Um, but let's go jump into it. Listen to what he got to say today. Let's go. Honestly, I'm sick to death of hearing the complaints. Everybody wants to tell me how I've changed. I think somehow I'm responsible for bodies filling graves. If I made the songs they wanted, were they fans I could have saved? Man, that's a lot of weight. Wait, I thought it would be great to entertain. And now I understand why mumble rappers say the things they say. They don't want any obligation to the fan base they create. I guess my morals won't allow me to be famous if it's fake. I don't want no obligation to the fan base they create. Crazy work. I actually, I actually someone just said that. Talking about how people love toxic and broken rappers and they create toxic and broken fans. And then, like, it just, you know, I can imagine if you actually care about the people that, you know, really rock with you, it's like, you probably be like, damn, I'm affecting these people in a negative way. Like, Youngboy just did. NBA Youngboy said that. He's like, I can't believe I'm putting this poison in their ears, basically. And it's too late. <laughs> but. It's facts behind that. I understand why mumble rappers say the things they say. They don't want any obligation to the fan base they create. I guess my mom. I was not calling NBA Youngboy a mumble rapper. Don't do that. Any obligation to the fan base they create. I guess my morals won't allow me to be famous if it's fake. I barely made it. I was living in the ghetto. Always praying my potential wouldn't go to waste before I could escape it. I just had a mental breakdown. Rent was due. I couldn't pay it. Killing roaches, scraping guts off all the plates and being patient. Hey, living in the hood could have got me killed. Kitchen full of rats. Stomach never filled. They cut off the lights. Couldn't pay the bills. I was always sick. Couldn't buy the pills. Girlfriend almost left me. We were broken. We were desperate. Right before it got too heavy, I went viral off a record. Mm. Never signed a Deal, I did it on my own. I made all the beats. I write every song. They did not believe I knew it all along. Told me I was weak. I showed them I was strong. Never should have bet against me. Thought my anxiety was gonna wreck me. Thought my depression would get in my head for a second and leave, but it never left me. Everybody says I changed up, changed up. Cause I had nothing and I came up, came up. Now I'm someone they're afraid of, afraid of. So say some, say some. Whoa, oh, hey, yo, everything you say, bro. I don't care, no, I don't care. Change so I don't care, no, I don't care, no. 
Honestly, it's bothered me since I've become this famous. People comment like I don't see what they're saying. I get death threats every day, insult my family, call me garbage, call me racist. Try to tell my therapist that I'm afraid I can't explain it. Ugh. Back up, don't touch me. I'm anxious. All of this money, I'm banking. Don't make. That's tough. That's tough. See, rappers like him or artists like him are really good at. Uh, well, I'm starting to see really good at explaining. You know, to, you know, to give me an inner look on. You know. How they feel and what they go through. Because some people think of rappers and artists and celebrities as like almost like gods. And just like just human beings that just have like no feelings, no souls or nothing. To talk to them crazy. And, and then got the nerve to call them, call them wrong for how to retaliate. I couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. For real. You talk to me crazy. You getting slapped. But I get what he mean when he say, like, you know, he going through a lot. Like, all this stuff. Like, he just labeled it in that last verse. Like, the end of that last verse. Talking about anxiety and all this stuff like that. And then he started it off talking about his family. He was talking, calling him this, that, and this. It's tough. He almost lost his girl, but then he went viral. You know, that's tough. That's real tough. Like, damn. It's a lot. A lucky break. But he, 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 won't, he won't even call it lucky. It wasn't lucky. It was a little break. Someone finally he found his music. He took off with it and going strong. Man, I looked at all his videos like Jesus, like millions of views. Psh. I get death threats every day and saw my family call me garbage, call me racist, mm. try to tell my therapist that I'm afraid I can't explain it. Uh. Back up, don't touch me, I'm anxious, all of this money, I'm banking, don't make me happy, I can't win, don't get it wrong, no, I'm thankful, wanted attention, it happened, pressure from standards established, amplify anger and sadness, can't deny that it did damage. Hey, take the bucks I made, take off all the chains, take the braids out of my hair, laser the tattoos off my face, stop mm. comparing me to hops and token NFNM, I think they're great, but so am I and I don't want to be them. And I never change, but I'm not the same. Stop comparing me to these motherfuckers. Oh man, I was just about to say he does remind me of the uh, type of style enough raps, which is real and in your face, and you know it's very transparent. But he's on, he's on, he's on a, he's, they're not the same at all. They're not. They're just not. You know, you can put them in the same like category of rap. But not the same artist, not the same lyrics, just not the same style. It's different. It really is different. Um, but I can see what he mean. Like, you know, you trying to be you trying to establish your image, your yourself, and then, you know, you get compared to others. But it's 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 kinda comes with the territory. It's it's gonna happen. Like it's really it really just will happen, like unfortunately. But I can see how that could be annoying. I'm not the person that I was once Alcoholic always calling mama Always trying to borrow 50 bucks uh, hey, I put my parents in debt I have embarrassed my friends I didn't care if I died I was honestly hopeful that I wouldn't wake up again But I'm back now Knock me down to that man But now I stand proud Last round Believe me I'm ready to scrap until they back down Doctor gave me pills Told me I was sad Never took them though Threw them in the trash Made a couple mil Money doesn't last Trying to smile a bit Living in the past Everybody says I changed up Changed up Cause I had nothing and I came up I bought it, I'm no sellout, homie, stop it This is a symbol of the work I did that's finally acknowledged This is robbed at corner stores while getting soda and some chocolate This is bullied all my life by kids at school, I ain't forgot it This is profit that I got from sacrificing food and water This is dollars I had after finally paying back my father This is failing grades and skipping class and dropping out of college You can't stop me, that's your problem, I will get it if I want it Stop telling me that I switched sides, my life changed, I'm a different guy My mama proud, my girl stoked, my sister happy I didn't die They're mad and Instead of saying time, I that's so tough. People always tweet to say, as soon as you start getting a little bit of money, you start buying the stuff you want, you change. Like, no, motherfucker, I just like what I like. Fuck off. Hmm. Different guy, my mama proud, my girl stoked, my sister happy I didn't die. They're mad instead of saying, Tom, I wish you the best. Of course I changed, I had to go and buy a bulletproof vest. Cause I've been stressed, yeah, I'm a mess, yeah, I need rest, yeah. Wasting energy on enemies I never met, yeah. I need meds, yeah, I need bed, yeah. What the heck? I should send a text to see if 
I still have some friends, yeah. Now that I'm healthy and nobody helped me, I wanna get every penny independent. I'm a menace, I'm a record. All my records got a message, I'ma spread it. And I'm still the person my mama nurtured to become this version. So shout out mom, I don't ever sleep. Every night is long, everything is on me, Tom. Everybody says I changed up, changed up. Cause I had nothing and I came up, came up. Now I'm someone they're afraid of, afraid of. So say some, say some, whoa, oh, hey, yo, everything you say, bro. That shit was hard, man. I ain't gonna lie. It was real. It was transparent. It was relatable. That shit was tough. I ain't gonna hold it. He just spilled it all out. That shit was lit. It's, you know what? It take a lot of guts to do that, too. Especially, you know, with an audience like his. Like, you know, just in general. Like, you take the risk of being judged and, like, you know, shunned out and blacklisted and all that stuff. And he ain't saying nothing crazy. I'm just saying, like, when you expose your feelings like that, it make you real vulnerable. So, like, to do that and feel solid with it. Big ups to you. Yeah, Tom and Donald. Pretty pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna keep checking this music out. Keep sending the suggestions in. Like I said, I do appreciate all the support, all the love and all that stuff like that. Um yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all next video.